Good morning. This is the 1st of November. Uh, behind me, I have the Howard Prairie Reservoir, and I'm at Clums Landing, which is a it's a county park with camping and you know boating. You see the maybe you can kind of see it. That's that's the boat ramp that goes down. The water is so far receded. Well, first off, uh, I came in here after dark. Uh, went down to the camping area, pitched my tent, uh, went to bed. Um, got up this morning. Uh, all the, yeah, the park's been closed since the 9th of September. Uh, all the toilets were uh, locked. All the water faucets have been capped. Uh, I came down here to see if I could gather some water from the reservoir. Uh, it's so far receded that uh, it's a hundred yards maybe after the end of the boat ramp. Um, so it's all just sort of mud and uh, very shallow. And uh, I'm gonna give this a pass as a water source. Uh, yeah, I bet you the water level must be down 25 feet from where I see that it had to have been. Uh, you know, earlier in the year. So, yeah, knowing that, uh, if I had known that, uh, I would have probably done something different as far as my campsite last night. Uh, I did have some coffee this morning because I packed in uh, about a quart and a half of water, so I still probably have a quart, something like that. Uh, maybe a little less. But yeah, gonna have to get going here. Uh, the sun has come up. I wanted to get a really, really early start today. Yeah, not gonna happen. Um, but I won't have to hike by headlamp, at least in the morning. I will tonight. So, uh, yeah, time to pack up. It's below freezing. Uh, hands are cold. Slept pretty well, though. Yeah. My sleeping system is uh, up to the task of a sub-freezing night. Gotta find my tent. <laughs> okay, I've just uh, obtained some water from Grizzly Creek right down there. So I have maybe a liter and three quarters. So I think that should be good enough. There's another water source that as of six, seven weeks ago, was flowing. Uh, I think it's a spring, which tend to keep flowing even when it's cold, because the water comes out at the temperature of the rock, which is essentially the average temperature of uh, in that area for the whole year, which is above freezing. So. Water tends to come out even in the winter time. Streams will, surface streams will freeze over. Uh, last night as I was hiking uh, by lamplight, passed another unmarked milestone. And that was, I passed uh, 1,747 miles which means I have 400 miles to go, 400 miles to go, uh, all in Oregon, and then I'm done with the PCT. Uh, yeah, looking forward to it, I think. Still a lot to look forward to as far as the hiking goes. Uh, I'm about 70 miles south of Crater Lake. I've never been to Crater Lake. Uh, so, uh, looking forward to that. I believe I can get resupply there, but before I get terribly close, uh, I need to phone them up, make sure they're open. Uh, I think some of the facilities at least are closed, but I think Mazama Village, if I read the comments correctly, is open. And I think people have told me uh, 
the park itself is open uh, year-round. But anyway, I definitely need to check that out. I don't want to arrive there, you know, in three days uh, out of food with no good option for resupply. So, yeah, moving on into the day. Um, well, I've stopped here for um, for water. Uh, so I got plenty of water. I got a couple liters and I've tanked up myself. But uh, I, I can see how Oregon is going to shake out here. Uh, and two problems are going to be water, believe it or not, because a lot of the water sources um, are dried up. Um, it may be a little drier uh, than other sections at all times of the year, but this time of year can be really problematic, and um, I kind of can't count on the water being there, which is really a problem because then you have to carry way, way too much. The other thing that is shaping up to be a problem is resupply. Um, normally, if you're going through at the middle of the hiking season, uh, you stop in Oregon, you typically stop at these little resorts that are not too far from the, from the trail. Uh, but you don't go through a town. Towns are far away, you know, half hour, 45 minute hitch, or uh, drive if you get the hitch. Um, one of the things I'm trying to nail down right now is what, if anything, is open at Crater Lake. I've left a voicemail uh, at the National Park. It's not clear to me what is open and if something is open, do they have food that I could carry out? You know, snacks, pasta sides, oatmeal, whatever. It sounds like the rim is open but the main visitor center or the, the restaurant and the camp store the, is, is, is not, but it's not clear. Anyway, I'd love to voicemail. Um, I'm going to be there in a couple days. Um, if they don't have anything, uh, it's going to be a little difficult. Uh, I may have to make a second stop between there to get just like another day or two to get beyond Crater Lake. Even beyond Crater Lake, uh, looking ahead, um, it's not clear what's open and it's not clear uh, how you how you get there. <laughs> um, even, the, even if some of these resorts or things that are, you know, 10 miles off the off the trail are in fact open in November now. So, um, this is proving to be more challenging to go through Oregon, uh, even with wonderful weather like this that's, um, you know, it's cold, it's freezing, but it's clear. Um, but Oregon's proving more of a challenge than I had thought it would be. There's a bird up in, not the light tree in the middle, the one next to it. There it is. It just moved. Had the most unusual cry I've ever heard. That's it. Oh, is that just a... Is that just a Canada Grey Jay looking to scrounge something? Yeah, that's all you are, just a camp robber. <sighs> okay, fine. So I'm on the 
slopes of Brown Mountain. And uh, you see one of these long, long uh, volcanic black uh, fields. I've been crossing these for a few miles, a couple miles. And I think I have like five or six more miles of this stuff. Makes for slow going. When the trail builders built this uh, to make the trail, I mean, you can see the, the reddish brown rock completely different than anything that's sort of native to this mountain. They just didn't take some rock and crush it up on site and, and uh, made some gravel. No, they, this has all been brought in. It's sort of like pumice, uh, but completely different rock. Um, so I've been making some good time here and then uh, uh, hit, you hit that and it's, uh, it's hard on the feet. Boom, boom, boom. And, you know, slipping and sliding on those volcanic talus rocks. Okay, well, it is what it is. Uh, if I make it where I intend to, it's probably going to be a little bit after dark. Uh, but it'll have water and a tent site. So, looking forward to that. Beautiful weather. Can't, can't complain. So, so, so lucky with the weather I've had for a month now. Yeah. Extended forecast for the next 10 days looks good too. Beyond that, uh, more seasonal norms. 20 to 40% chance of precip every day. Well, maybe I'll catch a break then too. That'll, I mean, you know, 10 days, that'll bring me to the central part of, of Oregon. I'll, I'll be half done with the state. So, wow, slow going on this, yeah, on these rocks here. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're beautiful. I think this, uh, this is the cone that I saw in the distance, Brown Mountain. Saw like coming out of Ashland in the distance. I'm pretty sure that's what I hit. It's such a regular uh, cone. You know, it sort of looks like Mount Doom or something like that. Anyway, putting the camera away, taking my hiking sticks out so I don't fall and hurt myself on this rock. Well, I popped out into a into an area where I can see better. Um, I thought. Brown Mountain was the one that I had seen in the distance, but I don't think it it was. I think the one I saw in the distance is that one. Let me see if I can get the exposure correct there. It's called Mount McLaughlin. So uh, I think that's the one that I saw from Ashland, and that this is a, a, a smaller cone, uh, kind of right across the road from uh, from Mount McLaughlin. Okay. Moving on, I have a little bit of light. I need to make use of all of it on this uh, rough talus stone. Just hiking along. Sun's down. Might be able to tell from the tone of my skin. Everything's sort of lit, lit up by the, by the now. Sunset. Yeah. The end of the magic hour. Very quiet today, though. Yeah. Probably have a uh, mile and a half, two miles to the tent site. The road with a tent site, and uh, I think it has a water source there, too. Moving on.